The 2016 season kicks off at a new place against a new opponent. NAIA Robert Morris hosting North Central. Jeremy Nicholas is one of five Cardinal captains. The senior looking to have a big season at cornerback. Austin Brunig is back. He's the proud owner of the school's single-season rushing touchdown record 18 a year ago. A new signal caller behind center, former Nequa Valley star Brock Rutter, transferring in from Indiana State. And one of his best targets, this guy, Alex Ulmer, led the cards in most receiving categories in 2015. Eagles enter the field for just the fifth time. The program started back in 2011, RMU 6-4 last year. So here we go, first drive, third play of the drive, and Rutter finds Ulmer. Ulmer makes a nice move to the inside. And Ulmer finds Pater, 50-yard strike, gets the Cardinals off to a fast start. It's huge when you have a senior like that who can lead and make big plays when he's asked to. He came out, his first catch was a touchdown. I think that gave him a lot of confidence, but every time he needed to be in the right spot, he was in the right spot making the big play. Robert Morris driving inside the 20, but on third down, the Cardinals get a stop. Or do they? Nope, roughing the passer. That'll keep the drive alive for Kenyatte Allen and company. Two plays later, Barrington Thomas punches it in. Ball game all tied up just four minutes in. But just like that first drive, Rudder finding a wide open Omer right down the middle. 45 yard gain takes him deep into Eagle territory. Red zone time for the Cardinals, which means watch out for this guy, six foot four Ryan Cool. Here he is in the slot. Rudder takes the snap, bootlegs right, and gets his big guy in the corner. 14 7 cards lead. Cool, also an equal grad, so this isn't the first time the duo has hooked up for a touchdown. Later on, still first half, NCC backed up against the goal line, but Alex Ulmer to the rescue once again, and then moments later, working underneath, Ulmer again. Number six with eight grabs for 164 yards and a touchdown. Now just past midfield, Rudder back to the aerial attack, and it's Michael LeBlanc, a freshman from Dixon with the catch and long scamper. How about that for his first catch as a Cardinal? North Central now leads 21-7. So now Allen and the Eagles have some work to do. The quarterback getting pressure in his face from Hunter LeDuc, but somehow stays on his feet. He avoids the pass rush and puts it downfield. Complete. And now it's Tristan Jeffries' turn to make some moves. He shimmies his way all the way inside the 15-yard line. Two plays later, and whoops, he forgot the ball. Amante Logan will gladly take it. Turnover inside the red zone. Turnover is a real problem for RMU. Allen trying to step up in the pocket, but DJ Workenthine there, but still, Allen stays alive. Penalty markers fly, Allen flings it downfield, but Jeremy Nicholas comes flying out of nowhere for the diving interception. The penalty on the Eagles declined by NCC. Second turnover of the game. Next drive for RMU, and oh boy, DeJore Forrest coughs the ball up. Third straight possession, ending with a turnover. Cardinal safety Kevin Nalewski coming out of the dog pile with the pigskin. Cardinals with a chance to extend the lead even further. The Brock Rutters pass high off the hands of Dylan Warden, and Deion Carter comes up with the opportunistic pick. Eagles driving all the way downfield. 14 seconds left in the half, a chance to pull within a score, and Allen goes to the back corner fade. Niklos again. The D line kind of hurt him a little bit, so he couldn't throw off his front. Uh, he could only throw off his back foot, really, so he couldn't get everything into it. So it, it was a fun game. What a day, and it's only at the half. Post intermission now. Cardinals driving, and how the Eagles forgot to cover this guy, who knows? Rudder finds Brunick in the flat, and he is off to the races. North Central, 28 7 lead. Here comes RMU. Allen with time to throw in a clean pocket. Right down the seam, Michael Berry hauls it in. Lead cut to 28-14. To the fourth, same score. Eagles back in the red zone, and Allen again with all day to throw goes to the back of the end zone. Montre Lee is there, just a single score game. Offense can't score again, so here comes the Eagles again. But remember that incredible first half Nikolos had? Well, how about this pass breakup and right into the arms of Pat Cravens? The Cardinal Convoy finds the promised land and North Central seals the deal. A 35-21 win on opening night. And then yeah. next week we got Weber, you know, we're looking to the next game. Um, but we'll watch the film and see we got, still got stuff to work on. Um, come back next week ready to go. Oh man, it was awesome. We've been talking about it ever since I got here. Just talking about how cool it would be to, to be able to get a touchdown here. 
And when he caught it, it was just a great feeling. It was a great feeling. Um, we we just we we stopped. We got a we got a little stumped at the, um, at the start, but towards the end, we we finally came together. We brought the intensity up, and we came together as a team. We believed in um we believed in each other. We picked up our offense, and the offense picked up the defense, and we made plays and playmakers. We just made it happen. It's always good to start it off with a win, one and zero, and then screaming a lot. It, it gets a little <laughs> little crazy. I mean, it was a big play. We were up 28-21 uh, towards the end of the game. I think it was third down or something. And uh, I mean, I was just in the right place at the right time. It fell in my hands. We just had good blockers, so it was great. It felt really good. Um, just Brock being a, a leader for us out there, um, really taking advantage of their soft coverage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I uh, had a, a great time tonight. We came into the game with a goal of getting three, and we got five, and we got a pick six, which was which was big. But um, yeah, it was, it was just big. We was, we was hit, um, ball hunting the whole time, so that was one of our goals. They're a scholarship school, so they're bigger. They're always athletic, but we had a good game plan coming in, and then we just kind of executed well and made plays. I think people were getting a little worried when it was 28. We were up 28-7. They were coming back, coming back. I mean, we got it done. That happened two, two times last year, so we closed it out. Big win against an AI school. So When our defense plays lights out like that, uh, you know, this, this, the ceiling is just non-existent. We can go wherever we want. Um, and when Brock and the O-line um, come together, we got a great receiving core. Um, we got Brunick, the best back in the nation. Um, so we got we got a lot of guys that can make plays. Um, as long as we, you know, come together and it, it comes together really nice. So yeah, I, I give all the respect to Jeremy. He gave all the respect to us, but man, I, he was he was on fire tonight. And um, I can't thank him enough. <laughs> I mean, I hugged him like probably 30 times today, but. He was just flying around, and that's that's all Coach preached about this whole week was just flying around and, and making plays. Playmaker, play, players make plays, and playmakers make plays. So he was just flying around. I, I, I'm, I'm, I want to hug him right now. <laughs> it was a relief. It was nice. It, it was definitely nice. It, it's, there's no doubt that you always want to be up two scores within a minute. And for Patty to do that, he's an awesome athlete, probably the best athlete on our team. I think we just prepared really well, had a great game plan, and I think it gave us a chip on our shoulder that they were a scholarship school and we're not, and I think we wanted to just come out here and prove that we could play with them.